एवरीवन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ कोव्यूल ऑफ एंजियोस्पॉम्स सो व्हाट इज एंजियोस्पॉम्स एंजियोस्पॉम्स आर दोस प्लांट्स व्हिच आर फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स नाउ इन प्रॉपर ऑब्जर्वेशन व्हाट एवर इज देयर इनटू योर सराउंडिंग्स लाइक मैंगो नीम बबूल दो प्लांट्स आर टू बी टर्म एज द एंजियोस्पॉम्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल we will search that where this ovule is to be located or present inside the flower so uh, going to draw the diagram of the longitudinal section of flower so this is the internal part of the flower just uh, i just want to show you that where this ovule is located so this is the female part of a flower going to make a thalamus on this one the thalamus is the place where all the floral parts are to be attached and not towards this side this side this one is to be termed as corolla that means the petal then followed by a calyx of course one androecium like this and this this one is filament showing you like this one and inside the ovary there is ovule so this is the ovule which is present inside the ovary and we'll study the structure of this one and ovule is there inside the ovary o v a r y so no mixing at all so ovary this complete part from stigma followed by style then followed by ovary then ovule this whole part is to be termed as gynoecium g y n o e c i u m now going to take out the structure of this part ovule which is the funicle the stalk of the ovule you can observe it is attached at the base that is termed as t h e l a m u s thalamus now take out the part that is ovule outside so this ovule is responsible for making the seed after the fertilization but first of all we will be discussing the internal structure of ovule so this is the part present inside the ovary it is termed as ovule now in what way the ovule looks like this ovule is like a structure in which the embryo sac is enclosed and you can observe that it is surrounded by the protective coverings so it is like this one one protective covering is present towards the outer side and of course towards the inner side the another one one more is there towards the inner side and then followed by towards the outer side a stalk is present it is like this one so this is the external portion of the ovule now inside the ovule there is embryo sac this embryo sac is present just towards the center part of this ovule this is the embryo sac the whole ovule is made up of simple parenchymatous cells that means the parenchymatous cells are of this type it is like this one simple parenchymatous cells filled with this it is present all these parenchymatous cells are present inside the sac like covering is to be termed as the embryo sac and this embryo sac contains seven cells and eight nuclei now search where those cells and nuclei are present from here that means from downward to upward when we move towards the micropyle there is a big x cell this one followed by two synergids will be doing the labeling part later on then in between there is a central cell this is the biggest cell inside this embryo sac this is the biggest cell and the central cell contains two nuclei nuclei 1 nuclei 2 filled with the vacuolated cytoplasm so there are two nuclei inside it opposite to the micropyle three cells are present 1 2 3 these three cells are to be termed as antipodal now going to do the labeling of the different parts of this ovule first of all 
this opening is to be termed as micropyle then the stalk of this ovule is to be termed as funicle then the place from where the stalk is attached with the body this is the body of the ovule this one is the stalk portion and the place where it is attached it is to be termed as hilum the largest cell in uh, among these three this one this is to be termed as egg cell two cells which are present on either side of this egg cell it is termed as synergids s y n e r g i d s in between the largest cell of this embryo sac it is termed as central cell then three cells all together one two three termed as anti podal cells then this part definitely it is the part of flower that means inside the ovary it is present this one is the part so definitely the vascular trace is also there the vascular means xylem and phloem so what i want to uh, say that this vascular trace is present into this funicle indicating you that the xylem and phloem is here inside it so it is to be termed as raphe r a p h e this is responsible for supplying the food and of course water inside the ovule this part opposite to the micropyle the perinamitous mass is to be termed as chalaza this chalaza is a greek word chalaza is the place where this embryo sac along with the little bit mass of the parenchyma is to be attached and the parenchymatous mass which is present around the embryo sac it is termed as mucellus this sac like a structure this one this sac like a structure this sac like a structure is termed as going to make it little bit wavy so that it will be very clear to you this sac like a structure is termed as embryo sac now now i want to tell you very important point that all those cells which are there inside the embryo sac that means three antipodals they are three in number writing here then one central cell with two nuclei no doubt adenine one in number synergids two in number two plus one three plus one four plus three so in totality it is seven so inside the embryo sac there are seven cells going to write down just below this one there are seven cells and eight nuclei one two three four five six seven eight eight nuclei so this question is of course of your different competitive examination so this is inside the embryo sac there are seven cells and eight nuclei next thing all those cells which are present inside the embryo sac they are haploid in nature egg cell haploid synergids haploid two nuclei when they are not fused then they are n and n that is haploid and of course the three antipodals are also haploid haploid means n that means the number of chromosomes are reduced to half in the cells and the cells which are there inside they are formed after the meiosis or meiotic division now this structure of the ovule when in the next video i'll teach you the double fertilization so these many words are very much important like synergids and egg cell all together these three cells are termed as egg apparatus we'll discuss in the next video the central cell is again responsible during the double fertilization to make the endosperm so but keep it in your mind that there are seven cells 
along with eight nuclei and micropyle is the place where these two integuments are not present. What are these integuments? You can observe that this is visible like uh, protective covering number one and number two. Number one and number two. This number one is termed as outer. Outer integument. I N T E G U M E N T. Outer integument. And the second one is to be termed as inner integument. So here also this is one and this one is the second. So I'm going to label here. This is termed as inner integument. Inner integument. Now, the place where there is no integument at all, both the integuments are absent. That means not the one and the second, outer and inner, no integument at all. So, this place is to be termed as micropyle and this micropyle allows the entry of pollen tube at the time of fertilization. So thank you and bye-bye.